Wally, I need to get in there. <sighs> okay, friends. Wally's here, being adorable helper. And we are going to be splitting our tears. Now, I was looking at the notes that I have in my little handy dandy notebook. And tier three is the next one uh, that needs to be either starved and or split, etc. And then we're going to be moving into tier one, which is a newly restarted bin. Uh, so, since it is at a point where we're going to be starting to starve them, and most recently... Uh, they only got like just a little bit of sweet potato scraps just so we can kind of bait a little bit of them for tier one. I thought I'll go ahead, share with you guys what that splitting process looks like this time around. Um, I haven't really had a lot of experience splitting a bin, but my thought was because tier one is a tier that is one new, uh, I got a few, like a small handful of worms from just when we were picking them out of the castings in there. And two, it is a tier that I started without coconut core. It's just shredded newspaper and paper and whatnot, uh, cardboard. And so I thought, well, I'll go ahead. And even though there's a little bit of compost in there from the tier that we harvested, when I harvest or split tier three, we'll go ahead and it's okay if we get some extra compost and completed castings in there because it'll be, um, I don't want to say like helpful, but it, it can't hurt the biome and it'll help make a little bit more bedding in there. And, you know, I haven't even used all the castings that I just harvested not too long ago yet. So I don't mind letting them, you know, stockpile a little bit in another tier. So we're going to start that process. So I'm going to take some tiers out of here and put them over here on the chest freezer and then I'll use my handy dandy new mount uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this is interesting. We had tier one on the bottom here and I noticed we have quite a bit of mites here. I'm assuming that's what they are. They don't really look like the normal mites but I'm not, I don't want to assume too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some paper in just to help fill in the space here. I went ahead and threw some mosquito bits in here just so that way if moisture builds up in here then it'll be somewhat protected and I threw one of our expired tea bags in here so I'm not entirely sure what these little guys are but there's more than a few of them so hopefully this will dry out anything that's in here. There were a few worms in there so uh Maybe there's some food in there. I don't know. Uh, so let's, before I put you guys back up on the stand, this is tier three. So I'm going to take the cover off. And, ooh, I don't see too many worms on here, but I'm going to cover up the tiers that we aren't harvesting, which I just have behind me on the floor stacked here. So we're going to move these guys definitely into tier one. So I think, I'll go ahead and use my finger for this. Boop. Welcome. Welcome. Let's run around my finger around the edge here. Not really a lot of worms up here per se. There's just moisture, condensation, you know, Florida problems. So this here, which you cannot see. Go ahead. Okay. Well, you guys can see tier one right now, which is what we're migrating to. It's, I have some paper here that I lightly soaked. Um, I didn't really soak it. I just got it wet and then dumped the water out. Um, this is kind of damp, but there's definitely parts that are a little on the drier side. And I know it's better to air on the side of dryness, but I don't want it to get too dry in here. So I have some paper that I'll probably be mixing into like well, here, we'll just put some in on the corners a little bit here. Just to help get it, um, I don't want to soak one area in particular, but I also don't want them to be uh, without the adequate amount of moisture they need. I'll just dump the rest of it into the tier we just put paper in to dry it, because why not? Okay, 
So I'll move you guys over here. Oh, hold on. We're going to be under attack. Wally's on guard duty. We're okay, Wally. It's trash day here. And, uh, oh, Wally, you got to stand down. We're okay. There's, you guys can probably hear. Trash is right there. Thanks, Wally. Okay, Mom's going to work on her worms now, okay? Got to be quiet. Okay. So, we fed these guys about about four days maybe not four complete days but three or four days that they got fed that little chunk of sweet potato and or sweet potato peels I should say so not even actual and that was right around this area here so I'm hope oops sorry so getting used to this new camera setup so I'm hoping yeah we're gonna see some good activity Hello. And I was not wrong. So we're just, I'm taking the sweet potatoes with us since this tier is going to be starved. Oh yeah. Look at all them worms. All right. We're just going to toss them over next door. And I'm not like trying to worry about if I'm doing an equal split. I'm just trying to take a lot of the worms out of here because that because there's still plenty of bedding material in here that these guys can be working on and so I figured I'll go ahead let this tier starve and finish out and then oh let's see so we will either take these worms when they're done and just restart this tier with these worms or I'll go ahead and move these worms out to our urban worm bag version two and then we'll just split like another tier and mix them together in here. I don't know, we got some, we got a lot, long ways to go before that's done, but I'm hoping that this process will help because there's, I mean, I don't know if you guys can, let me see. I don't know if you can tell from that distance, but there, I'm, as I'm, scooting around in here. I'm seeing plenty of wiggles from our Wormington community here. So there are more than a sufficient number of worms in this tier. So I, yeah, I think we took a decent number of them out today, but I mean, I'm seeing worms everywhere, honestly, you guys. So feeling pretty good. Yeah, this is, there's, yeah, there's a lot of worms still in here. So this was probably a very mild considered split, but uh, I think because we baited them and we found where there was a lot of them, that helped get a lot out. So I'm hoping if I split every time I harvest, whether I split and I put them into the urban worm bag or I split and I put them into a new tier, that'll help us, one, starve the tier out um, and empty the tier out for migration purposes so it speeds that up. And then two, it'll help our population potentially grow. I'm not actually sure if that's how it works, but in my head, that's what I've put together. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna start the official clock on the starving of this tier three. I'll go ahead and note that in my book. So we have all the notes. Okay, so that's the bottom of our hot frog composter that we just added some paper to and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put tier three on the bottom. We'll let them start starving. And then uh, obviously they're welcome to migrate if they would like. Um, however, like I said, I think they're gonna be in there for a while finishing up that bedding that they found. So I will go ahead and even though we're splitting the bin, I'm gonna put tier one on top of them, which is who I just put their split worms into because worst case scenario, they just migrate. A lot of them will migrate up. Uh, I, well, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe I could also, ooh, here's a, okay, here we can pivot. If I start, don't completely starve, and then I just, well, I was gonna say, if I bait them again, 
should I just take the worms that were in there and put them in another tier? I don't think so. I think we'll leave them there. Um, I don't know. This is spl the splitting is getting complicated because I'm trying to figure out where I'm putting everybody. So we'll just consider that a star of and a split start. And if they migrate into here, great. If not, whatever. I'm not worried about it. We'll pull them out later. So then that means that the next tier that needs our attention in the future will not be tier two because that's the one that was most recently started prior to the one that we mostly started today, but it will be this tier four, which, well, hold on. Well, let me do my renter mess check with you guys real quick, just to show you I'm using my new stand. So we made a little bit of a mess there, but not really a lot. And then, I don't know if you guys can see on the floor, but there's a few little drops, but nothing I can't pick up with a paper towel and toss on into the bins if we need to. All right, so this tier four here is gonna be the next oldest tier. And we just fed it, you guys saw a couple days ago, so they're still working on their foods. So I'm not gonna disrupt them too much, but you can tell that there's a lot of castings in here. There are a lot of um, paper towels from feedings and stuff, but there's also plenty of worms in here. So my thought was, I kind of want to do the same thing where we split them again and then I just have like a really crazy good amount of worms out of my urban worm bag. So that way like these bins in here are kind of like, like my hot frog turns into kind of like my breeder bin, if you will. Uh, and then that way I don't have to worry as much about, uh, I don't want to say like not worry about the food feeding size out here, but I would rather be able to potentially have my urban worm bag to the point where I could just dump a bunch of food in and know that there's enough worms in there and I don't have to worry about it as much as like bugs and stuff like that. Like I'd rather have that because it's so much easier to scale up. So I was thinking maybe I'll just use these as like my breeder bins, which is why when I split the other tier that we just did, tier three, we moved it into a tier that wasn't occupied currently. So that way uh, we kind of like help get that population going in there again. But in the future, I'm thinking like tier four and beyond, if we're getting to the point like this, where we're gonna start starving them and we're gonna start, split, like maybe we have a lot, like we look in here and we say, hey, there's a lot of worms in here. I'd like to start splitting them and just putting them out into our urban worm bag. So I think that's definitely an option for tier four moving forward, even if it's just like we do one really good bait or two weeks of baiting and then move a lot of the worms and just leave a little bit in here to finish them off or finish off the tier. I think that's probably going to be my plan moving forward, but obviously things change. Um, but I would like these to help produce enough worms to help my urban worm bags get up and running or I only have one, but that's the goal. Uh, Cause then I think I could scale more food being processed out there quicker than I can in here with all the different layers. So we'll see uh, if you guys have any experience with the worm bag setup, let me know. Um, it definitely seems more convenient for scaling up, but I, I'm still a noob at that. So let me know. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking in. We will see you back here in actually a couple days uh, for the next set of feedings. So we'll see how everybody's doing. And then, uh, yeah, see how the split goes or has gone. Okay. Bye, friends.